Hello and welcome to Vector Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perziniak. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the great new features of InDesign CC. I'm going to talk about the font menu enhancements. Whenever you work with type, you have to choose a font that you are going to use. But choosing a font is always difficult. And especially if you have lots of fonts installed on your computer, you might find it very difficult to always find what you are looking for. And this is something that they improved in InDesign and Illustrator CC with the new options in the font selector area. Uh, there's a keyboard shortcut, by the way, if you want to quickly select it, you can press Command or Control 6 and we can start typing to look for a font. But notice that little icon here on the left, the search icon, which has two different ways of searching. It can either search for entire font name or it can search for the first word only. Let's try that one. And this is basically how the previous versions of InDesign uh, used to work. So if I press TR, it will find Tryon Pro on my computer. But what if I switch to this new option to search entire font name? If I have that option checked and I start typing something like bold, then it will be able to filter out all the fonts on my computer which has the bold word in their names. That is amazing. That saves a lot of time filtering out those type of fonts that I will need for a specific task, like use it for a heading. Or I can type in italic and I will only see the italic fonts or I can type in script. And again, I've got a filtered selection from my font library. So that's one of the great new ways to search and filter out your fonts, but that's not all. We also have the favorites option, which is again, a great option. So let's just say there's a font which I really like to work with called Bebas. I'm going to start typing that and let me select this and maybe change this one to Bebas actually. So I'm going to press Command 6, start typing Bebas and press Enter to accept that change. Now, next time when I go to the font selector, it will already come up as previously used font, which is great. So it helps me to use it in the future. But I can also check this little star icon to set it as a favorite font. So it will make it much easier to find it whenever I want to work with it. And let me set a couple of other fonts as favorites. So I'm just going to quickly set a couple of these fonts as favorites, like these. And then if I click on show favorite fonts only here on the top, I will see only that selection of fonts that are set as my favorites. That will save a lot of time. And there's also another good thing in that whenever you have a font family of de different styles, you will be able to see them in a little drop down. So it nicely groups all these styles together. So it takes up less space whenever you search for it. If I want to see again the whole font library, I can just turn off the favorite option and I can see once again everything. The icons which are representing the true type or open type is also visible, but now it's next to the preview of the fonts. So it's a little bit more organized and easy to see them. And we can always change the size of these previews from the preferences. If we go to type, we can find the font preview size, which can be set to small, medium, or large. Let's just check small, then we will be able to see the difference here in the font selector dropdown. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you like these new features. For me, this is a really big improvement. It will help me a lot when I work with fonts. And if you are interested about the other new features of InDesign CC, make sure to check back on Vector Touch for other videos. Thanks a lot for your attention.